Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door and see what- Oh, that's not good. Never a good sign when something blocks in behind you. Well, we got- Oh yeah, these these statues, I believe, change their position depending on how the water is raised. That creates quite an interesting situation here because of the fact that uh, I have to be in a completely different room to raise the water level unless that is just a trick puzzle because you know as you can see the door behind me is locked oh that didn't do anything how about the scarecrow song <laughs> best song ever okay that did nothing maybe I'm supposed to like lock on to it before I do the scarecrow song but I don't think I was locked onto it there. Hmm. What is this gonna do anyway? Once I once I lock onto it anyway, I mean that that'll just put something. Oh, you're here. Three three staples. Eh. Eh. Well, at least I only have to deal with one of them at a time. Remember the staples trick is that whenever you are locked onto one, the other ones will completely avoid you for whatever reason. Maybe the staples have a sense of honor of sorts. I intend on doing these staples correctly like I did the one back at the ice cavern. So, there we go. Ooh, oh yeah, looking good, baby. Looking good. Very good, actually. <laughs> See, it's not that hard if you're patient with these guys. Maybe it's a thing of that I was... Maybe trying to show off too much before. <laughs> yeah. Doing well now. And it's like a couple more hits left, and we'll see what the heck killing these guys will do. These soggy skeletons. I mean they were they did pop out of the ground, right? So they were under this water for quite a while, waiting for someone to come by. I kind of feel sorry for them actually. But alas, it is the fate of the undead. <laughs> okay, so. That did something. Did that make those statues start popping out? Or something? Maybe? Um... Okay, I'm missing something here. Oh, there's that hookshot target back at the start. So let's latch ourselves up there to give ourselves a better look. Ah! I thought these raised themselves with the water level. Or maybe they did with a switch or something. Could be wrong. You know me, I could be wrong. <laughs> You've seen that fight with Volvagia, that was horrendous. Disregard everything I said about that fight. <laughs> okay, that... What? Why does Navi keep flashing green over there? Does she want me to Song of Time myself? Oh, I mean, make a Song of Time block over there or something? It doesn't seem like I would need to put a, anything there, actually. Then again, back at that... Uh, when I brought that Song of Time block back in that dead end room, it didn't seem like it was something that I needed to bring out. See, what the heck? Sun Song? Maybe it's a Sun Song that, like, you know, maybe it's one of those fairies, the big fairies that recover all your health. Yep. That's it. Well, that solves that mystery, I suppose. I'm not gonna bother getting it, otherwise I'll have to do this hookshot target shenanigans all over again from the start. Um... That'll lead me to the other side, right? This isn't gonna land me on spikes, is it? Good. <laughs> and I didn't hear or see any skulltulas in the other room as well. Why is this green here now? Is this another fairy? God, I don't see the point of a Song of Time block being here. I don't get that. <laughs> why, why was there two fairies in this room? Okay, complete and utter disaster in this room, so I'm restarting it from the top here. I had no commentary, I was playing like a fool. So anyway, you touch that tree, then you go to this side, and now you'll see someone is here. And this is Dark Link. Well, or Shadow Link, basically. He mirrors your moves, but he doesn't have any of the items that you have. Uh, you can hit him with 
certain things, but he seems very, very proficient at dodging your slashes. I don't understand the issue that I'm having here, because I don't recall ever having this much trouble with Shadow Link before. <laughs> See that? You want to do, like, no Z targeting and just horizontal slash him if you can. Just spam that button like crazy. Uh, some people love to use the Megaton Hammer, but it was just not working for me, like, in the slightest. So I decided to, like, scrap that idea altogether and restart this boss and do it, well, I don't want to say properly, because properly would be, you know, showing you how to not tank the, I mean, tank the hits, yeah, and, uh, try not to take any hits uh, while trying to hit him, but I, for some reason, cannot figure out how to beat this guy any other way, so that is how I'm going to beat this guy. <laughs> um, he's also vulnerable to stuff like Din's Fire, uh, which may be an easier way to hit him. Well, maybe. See that? And every time you hit him, he also uh, disappears under the ground, or I should say in the water, or something like that. And sometimes he even dodges your Din's fire, which is astonishing. <laughs> so... Oh, he's trying to combo attack me in the cutscene now. <laughs> oh, he's gotta go down eventually. By the way, I, I left the temple to get myself three fairies uh, back at the fairy fountain at the Lost Woods. Or I should say the Sacred Forest Meadow Fairy Fountain, actually, to be more precise. Just so I can tank these hits as much as I possibly can. Because this guy was seriously annoying me. So I just decided, okay, I'm just going to leave this place. Take it from the top. It's not a, a very long walk back to this place. Finally! There we go! Um... Since I'm going to have to cut a lot of footage, I think I'll be able to continue on. By the way, this room was a complete illusion. If you didn't notice, the room does not continue on forever. That was just Dark Link's illusion, basically. Alright! Was this the right path? Yes! Okay. So I'm going to just like do a bunch more in this part. Now I'm going to check over the footage if it ends up too long or too short. Oh well, I guess. Uh, that, that apparently opens that gate. Uh, there we go. I, I don't recall Shadow Link ever being that hard, but I had quite a lot of trouble with him in my, on my first run through this. So, that's why I wanted to restart it. I just didn't have a commentary, and yeah, it was more along the lines of me trying to figure out the best way to kill that guy, and the best way just seems to be is not, not Z-targeting him, and just, um horizontal slashing him at best and or using Din's fire until you run out of uh, magic juice. Alright, so this is the whirlpool room. These whirlpools will suck you down into them unless you have the iron boots and you're gonna have to use your hookshot to make your way through here basically. I don't believe there's anything to worry about down here though I do, I think I should be looking out for Skulltulas just in case. Oh, and I slide down here so I'm gonna have to whoop, like that now I'm gonna just back backtrace my steps here to uh, look for Skulltulas just in case. That's apparently not necessary. Wah! Okay, they made this room a whole lot easier in Master Quest. Uh, wait, um, I am in uh, what? I can't do anything, and I'm sliding backwards extremely slowly. Link. Please get back down to the bottom. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what was the uh, issue there, but eh, whatever. whatever. Um, over there, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Gold Skull to the... Yay! I am so happy to see you and your token. Because that means I am doing well in this dungeon, I think. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not going to slide down into anything, I guess. Wait, why can't... Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, why can't I use the hook shot anymore? It was grayed out for whatever reason there. Hmm, weird. Uh, this room isn't hard as you can see in the slightest. Uh, you just have to hook shot your way through everything, and you'll be just fine. Woo! There we go. Um... Arrows? Fairy? Don't need you. So I'm gonna take myself right over there. Sorry for being quiet, I'm just thinking through things strategically here. 
Yeah, there we go. Um, is there anything else in this room? Anything to be aware of? Or is that just the hookshot whirlpool obstacle course, which that's what it's looking like it is. Uh, I'm not going to take off my iron, <clears throat> my iron boots just yet. This leads me, yeah, to this room. That's what I thought. This room is a... Link, jump off the edge, please. <laughs> There we go. It, it's uh, another whirlpool room, only this whirlpool isn't dangerous in the slightest. It just pushes you around in a circle. It's not not a problem whatsoever. It doesn't suck you down under the depths of the abyss and make you force, for I should say, force you to restart the room like the other one would have. Um, what am I looking for in this room? I do not know. Uh, it's blocked off. We got ourselves a dragon head over there. I can swim down there if I so desire. I don't know if that is something that I desire. I should say flop myself underneath there. Wait, wait, wait. My shadow's above the thing, so that means... Oh, there we go. Hm, no problem. I thought I would have to, like, manually swim my way through there. Link! Break the grates when I roll into them. Do it every time. Uh, what's the point of this alcove here? Oh, I could have used the hookshot to get into here as well, I suppose. Oh, I, I didn't see that up there. <laughs> Hookshot target. Wah! Hmm, do I have to take off my boots on, when I'm out of water? Uh, I noticed that Link is a lot slower uh, with his boots when he's out of water than when he's in water, probably because that makes him a little bit lighter, per se. Uh, oh, some torches. Got a light on, I guess? Maybe? Hopefully I won't burn those crates. I don't think fire burns those crates. What does that do? What does that do? Oh, it opens that door. Okay. Um, I'll shoot this thing. Those, these things always seem to have prizes for whatever reason. Um, I guess that's it. I didn't see anything else. So, let's go back. And... Can I, like, hookshot my way to that thing from here? Oh, yeah! <laughs> that's the power of a long shot, baby. And I think that's it, unless there's more to this place. I didn't... I I'm gonna jump down there. <laughs> this is Master Quest we're talking about here. There could be a gold skull to uh, not drowning down here. Just just gonna check for the fun of it. Mm. Mm. No. Nothing in the dragon's mouth. That just is creating the current, so... Back out we go, I guess. Gotta check out some more rooms. Whichever rooms are left. I mean, what... What didn't... Oh, there's this room. Uh, this is new. I thought this was gonna lead me back to the main room, actually. Dang it for not having a dungeon map and compass. <laughs> um, more magic power? A switch? That starts a timer of sorts. I don't know why I would want to propel myself up here, unless that's like a way back. Because I don't see the point of this geyser otherwise. Unless I'm supposed to shoot something from the geyser. Or maybe I'm supposed to light something from the geyser using uh, Din's fire or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Nope, 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 please. Because those gates have to open somehow. Because there's probably something behind it. Um, let's try this, because remember that thing gave me, uh, magic power. So for all I know, let's just take a look in this room here. Ah, there is torches, okay. Din's fire, go! Did it work? Yes! And that leads me to the boss key! Yeah, but where the heck is the dungeon map and compass? Where? <laughs> da, 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 da. I could go face the boss now, I suppose. Or at least I think I could. <laughs> um, maybe. But why would I want to do that when there's many Skulltulas left to collect in this place? Because this dungeon is practically done then, without the Skulltulas to uh, collect here. <clears throat> Anything down here? No? Okay. 
I'll just whip myself right up there then. No! <laughs> well, now I guess I'm gonna see exactly what's down here. <laughs> he didn't grab onto the... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use this one. The other one is for your hands. This one is for your feet. <laughs> I should say when you uh, have the iron boots on. Okay, so that leads... So that opens that gate. Did this open something else down here is the question. Because this wasn't... Ah, yes! This place is now open. So that switch probably opened that. Or, or at least once you do that whole rigmarole around the whole place. And is that the water surface? Yeah, that's the... Hmm, interesting. Despite the whole place being flooded, this place seems to have a bubble of air over here. And I could have used my hookshot to get out, out from over there, but eh. I could just take off my boots and climb across. I'm going to have to take them off anyway since there is, as I said, air. <laughs> um, so we got this room. Oh, I should also mention the long shot really, really opens the world up to you uh, when it comes to collecting Skulltulas. So after I finish the Water Temple, I will very likely be sort of going through the place and... Well, not going through the place, going through the world and going... And to going and rah, 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 <laughs> to sort of go back and collect the missing skull to loves. Not missing skull to loves, the skull to loves that I couldn't collect at a certain time period. And what is with all these crates? There's probably a switch under one of them. That's my best guess. Can I like yeah, I can't climb up here without a crate. So I can I can destroy all these crates safely without worrying about like messing up the puzzle because that's why I kind of missed a couple crates at the beginning there because I didn't want to make it so I wouldn't be able to go back if I messed up the puzzle um, like I figured that I might have to climb on top of the crate to do something I don't know <laughs> what am I missing in this room I am unsure um, I, I don't think, no, I can't climb up there at this point. I either have to raise the water level or find a switch. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Um, by the way, there's also a current in this room if you didn't know that. So once you take off your boots, you gotta fight against it, fight the power. Um, I think I'm gonna end off this part here now that I'm in this room and I'm puzzled, so I hope you enjoy this part, and I'll see you in the next part.